What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, and I'm here with Jarvi from Peak Monsters to talk about some new stuff coming to the Peak Monsters platform, which is crazy because, Jarvi, yesterday we just got a bunch of releases from the team, I think their final update push. So this is exciting. I feel like we're just tacking on, and it's the, the season of giving. Um, so I'm excited to chat about what you have. If you want to just do a quick intro for those who may not know you and Peak Monsters, and then we can jump straight into it. All right, Jarvi, we started a Peak D uh, project back in 2018, and then um, Agrid and Yaba started Splinterlands or Steam Monsters back at that time, uh, a little bit after that, and then we decided to create a marketplace. So we were, uh, for all intents and purposes, the first marketplace of Splinterlands, and then Splinterlands itself started, created a marketplace, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and... Um, yeah, just been going ever since, and we've got a bunch of, we just releasing tools here and there all the time. Cool, cool. All right, well, I mean, you guys you guys have been around pretty much since the beginning. Uh, it was it was a pleasure to, to actually meet you in person at uh, Splinterfest earlier this year. And um, yeah, like you said, let's go ahead and just dive in. I'm going to share my screen. And right. this is this is what we're looking at for the beta right now. I'll I'll drive and you direct me. So let me know right, where we got, you would like me to go. Yeah, we got some new features released as of yesterday because uh, some people in the Splinterlands team went to bat for us, and we're very thankful to them. There was some uh, core issues when they first released the non-card market, mm -hmm. and it looked for a while that it wasn't. They weren't going to like, oh, we got other things going on. They get your land stuff done. But at the last moment, they came in and got the API running for us. So now we can show you all your assets in the peak monster sort of way. So if we go to assets, and this mm -hmm. is live on your site, uh, <clears throat> on the site presently. The next thing we're going to show, it will be live on the site probably by the time people watch this video. Yeah, by the time the video is out. With an hour or two. All I really have to do, I just got back. Uh, this morning from exercise is just go and do a couple of tests and then we'll, we'll launch it. So it, are you yeah, talking about the buy, the buy page? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, cool. all right. Looking should... at the assets page. Yeah. Let's go, let's go back to the assets. All right. So these are uh, all the assets you're used to seeing by now for the last month over on Splinterlands, right? Mm -hmm. But we're pulling in a few more things, you know, like the dark energy crystal. I don't know what else. Uh, they don't have there, but, and then we're putting a total value of it based on, um, I believe based on the lower price from which market. Also, you get to see, this is a big part, you get to see the price from Hive Engine as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's Hive Engine price and then the market price is the one uh, on the internal market then, right? Mm -hmm. And converting it into dollars as well, which uh, is sometimes a pain to do over on Hive Engine. <laughs> Yeah. Unless it's the, the right last price, you know, so. Mm -hmm. And these are, uh, okay, we have a, uh, you know, the columns are pretty self-explanatory. You can also transfer all the items as well right from here. Cool. And okay. do it in bulk. Um, obviously, you can't transfer credits or merits, you know, transfer whatever is transferable. Some filters, as you've come to expect from Peak Monsters, so. And then when you try to sell something, so if you want to go ahead and just try to sell something, even for yeah, a really sure. high price. Sure. So let's throw a Chaos Agent pack out there. You have 277. Yep. $50. Yep. Maybe one day. All, All right. right. I'll post that up. And then uh, if you scroll up, this is a little known thing that I'm surprised people don't know. Is that little uh, refresh button in the right-hand corner. That little yeah, green. I love this thing. Don't refresh the whole page when you can just do that. And now yep. you can see that in the listed column, right here. that it is listed. Ah, so it's okay. no longer in your inventory. This is this is how Splinter, they, they didn't explain how their the market actually works. It actually leaves your custody, you know, like it's gone. It's now oh, leaves your the the custody, yeah, okay. It's now in the marketplace. So it's done a little bit differently in the, so we're having to change how we operate a little bit, but now it's mm -hmm. out of your custody into the market. 
So that's why it went from 277 down to 276, you know? Yeah. I, and I think that's important because somebody asked us a while back, and, and like you said, the team wasn't – they gave they gave a clear answer, but it wasn't clarified at the beginning because somebody asked about, like, land, for example. And if you wanted to list land on the market, would you still receive the airdrops until it's sold? And so yeah. clearly that's not, that's not the case for land or the nightmare packs. Yeah, because it's no longer in your account, really. For all intents and purposes. I mean, it still is. The moment you hit that little delete button, yeah, it'll come back to you. So it's fine. Cool. All okay. right. There's not too much else here. I mean, I guess you could hear about plans or ideas and you can come to our, our Discord. It's very important. People come to our Discord. And even if it seems obvious, uh, and even if I say it, come and say, we would. I'd love to see this. I'd love to see this. Because the developer is like, Oh, you want that? And he will do things for you faster than he'll do things for me. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, so, I think that's I think that's important to say just because sometimes, I mean, not that you're not thinking about it, but it's good yeah. to know where the priority is, right? If somebody comes in and it's just like, this would really, you know, help me or improve quality of life or such and such, um, you kind of know where to put your priorities. I've got 50 things on the list. Mm -hmm. You come in with one really solid thing, not like a thing that's going to take us forever, even if it's a small, especially small things. Just come in and ask for it. That means you've got one thing. I've got a list of 50 things. Yeah. Your thing may be done faster than mine. And one of those things, so I'm just going to implant into your mind, is the is just a grand total of all the items, right? Mm -hmm. How awesome would that be? Therefore, you would have somewhat of a portfolio. Yeah, probably something and similar then, to uh, what you have with the the card values here at the top mm -hmm. we could maybe have a little place at the bottom where you say uh load all your load your card value because when when that happens we don't just when you go to my cards we're finding it new on the fly your card values and totaling mm -hmm. them all up but if there was a button here maybe that totaled them all up for you or remembered the last time you went to my cards and then you could really have your full uh you know portfolio of assets and then maybe maybe we could convince to to put the the pools in there as well that would be fun yeah that would definitely work and then then that's all the assets right mostly mm -hmm. i guess rooney that one's gonna be that would be really hard one so maybe we could skip that one for now well, it's so, interesting you got the the Rooney component kit here, but you know I, I, yeah. I understand trying trying to pull in. I mean, even the even the team was struggling with a lot of like the Ethereum crossover. So yeah, we'll wait until that gets a little bit easier. The, that component kit is just shows up because of the API, but it really has no meaning to. Yeah, I mean, anyone. well, there's there's definitely more Rooney than two thousand. Yeah, it's just the component kit from the presale. That's it. Yeah, it's not Rooney itself. All right. Well, we could. I mean. There's, there's not too much to this uh, page, but it definitely can be bigger than what it is now and more exciting. So, I mean, I like it. It's got a, it's got a clean layout. I love the, uh, the color schemes here just to, just to always help, help me organize myself yeah. and my, my view. So, um, yeah, I like it, man. But should we go over to the buy? Yeah. So you're going to have to hit the drop down, but um, those are buy okay. cards. So now we got buy yeah. assets. Oh, buy assets. Uh, nice. This is, default view is not my favorite. We should probably change it. I like the bulk view, but I don't know. Like people need to tell me if they love the grid view or the list view. I, you know, I actually like this view, but okay. maybe that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's like default for that's me cool. or if I left it there, but uh, I mean, they're, they're both good. I, it's I a very go splinter land sort of view. I don't know. know. Maybe I'm just a five-year-old. I like big pictures. <laughs> so it's like, okay. <laughs> whenever I see that, but let's go over to the ball. I am a spreadsheet sort of guy. So I, I love spreadsheets too, but I, okay. whatever, we'll, we'll get into it. I, this, this view yeah, is yeah. perfectly acceptable and I use it all the time as well. All right. So here's what's listed, what you own and uh basic, it's very straightforward to begin with. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the green kind of is denoting uh, which part is cheaper. <laughs> Presently, Hive Engine. Uh, the other wow. idea, okay. and and I'm saying like these are fun ideas. If you guys like them, you know, tell us you like them. Tell Sergio to or, or, or developer to create them. But like one of my ideas is to put next to the Hive Engine price how what the percentage difference is. You know. 
Yeah. Because, you know, on the Chaos Legion pack, it's 146 versus 149. Maybe that's not even really a big enough difference to really yeah. worry about converting something to swap hive and the 1% fee to get it over there. Mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes it's less fee, but, you know, like all that, all the time and energy and stuff like that. So you may just want to buy it straight from the market. True, true. There, There is a, oh, I guess if you're, if you're buying, then it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Does it matter uh, to a buyer? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter to a buyer, but the, but as a seller, um, and I wonder, are you going to put in uh, some kind of selling in here as well too? Oh, not on the buy page, obviously. No, so but... it's on the assets page. Oh, it's on the other page. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. All right. Wrong mindset. So yep, yeah, yep. No, I know I I love that. I think the percentage percentage difference would be great. Uh so there we go. There is no uh you got a region there, huh? There's no regions presently on uh on hive engine. Yeah. On hive engine. So you think this is a good deal? 250k for a region? No. <laughs> So you can get a tract for $139 a plot, or you could so a region at $250 a plot seems uh, a bit seem amazing, yeah. But if you want them all together and you want the guarantee that you've got a, a, a castle and 10 keeps and all that stuff, then it could be a really you know, it's definitely been way higher in the past, you know, true, close to a million dollars yeah. in the past, or 750,000, I think, was the highest purchase of a region that's insane um all right i'm glad you got totems in here too because i know there's a lot there's been a lot more talk about totems so seeing everything it, I, re I really like this i mean obviously the non-carb market was was good um and and did this but for the longest time you would go into hive engine and you had no idea what tokens belong to what game and you'd have to like yeah, yeah. go in and search for the specific thing so this is a nice clean interface to to see everything there when you hit buy this is also how they uh, did the market differently than they did for the card market. So if you hit mm -hmm. buy on one of these things, like the Chaos Legion or something, or Alpha Packs, yeah. Uh, you can... Uh, well, no, actually, this isn't too different. You could buy the more expensive item, I believe. Yeah. Let's well, see. In interesting that you do, you do have the percentages in here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so people just people just have to click into it, but it's there. <clears throat> All right. So if you add them, should I add more? More than one? Uh, just add one. I'll send you the money for it. No, oh, that's fine. <laughs> so, what is dollar forty six no, no, okay, versus the dollar forty nine? No, no, no. I was just yeah. I was looking at the price difference. Oh, interesting. I added the same listing ID twice. Should I cancel one of them? Oh, whoops. Uh, no, because I believe they are listed under the same ID. <clears throat> oh, there's 81 available. So there's yep. 81 of them. All right. Missed that. Okay. So. So. All right. Go, go ahead and buy it and I'll reimburse you. You're Don't actually doing it. testing for me because if this works, then that means. We can oh, I'm sure I'll, I'll take a free chaos pack. I was going to say I need the cards anyway. <laughs> they're, they're not too expensive right now, thankfully, on the secondary market. Okay. If we so, refresh the page, we, we remember there was 81, so we could see if it went down and see if it worked just fine. There you go. Oh, there's, there's 80. 80 available. There's a new feature if you go to the right-hand corner and yep, go to thanks. My Explorer. Okay. And then you go to Asset Sales. Oh. And go ahead and hit Refresh. Maybe it just hasn't shown up yet. Oh, yeah, it hasn't shown happens. up yet. Yeah, you can hit refresh again, probably. Oh, that's uh, you purchased it. Never mind. So that isn't a sale. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Okay. <laughs> uh, it should be under purchase packs then, right? Or would that not be under? That would. This is. Uh, the store. Yeah, we don't have a spot for this. Okay. So, so maybe have asset pur purchases as uh, something else under the filters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. You haven't uh, sold anything recently either, so we see. Uh, that's a new thing, though. We have the asset sales, but Splinterlands does not provide any details about the sale itself. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what you sold at all. Gotcha. All right. I Hopefully think... they'll, they'll work on that. So, um, gotcha. okay. uh, And then 
what else is new recently? So my computer is um, waiting on here for a little bit. All right, so we have the we went through the my assets and then the uh, the buy new buy page. So we have a ah, you have access. Okay, just got access. Sweet. We have a feature uh, that we've talked about previously. It is close to getting out of early access, but we gave you early access, and we're willing to give anyone basically early access. It's just kind of a way to. That people are like, yeah, we know it's not fully done, you know, mm -hmm. sort of thing. Uh, but it's an auto rental system. So, do you have any cards rented out? Uh, I do have a couple. Um, okay. I can probably It'll throw some more on there the too. Same. Yeah. Uh, so, if you go over to your profile, do you know where to find the profile on Peak D? Peak Here. Monsters? There we go. Yep. Cool. All right. So one thing you're going to need to do is a subscription, and I'll send, I'll reimburse you on that one too. Oh sure, I should, uh, I should be doing this anyway. So let's walk, walk me. Oh here, subscription. Yep, this page is what's mainly going to be changing. Let me pay. Do you have PK, PKM or no? You know what? I don't have the DEC either. Hold on, I can send some. How much PKM is it? I can send it. As well. uh, it's 592 PKM. It is heavily discounted on PKM. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, I should, I should swap to PKM. It's then. $3 versus $4 and 50 cents. So. Oh, that's literally 33% off. There you go. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, and this, this feature that we're going to show you doesn't require um, the subscription. Does it require a uh, premium? But for anyone renting a decent amount, like you really should get premium is how it's going to work. But the early access does require it. So right. after sound. Oh, are you sending me some? Well, thanks. Yeah. Uh, there, the way to get it is to go to the like tribal decks, the hive engine uh, pools. Yep. And it's, uh, it's in a pool with uh, SPS. I have I have some of my I have some PKM from the airdrop uh, because okay. I do use the service. I just don't have six hundred well, on me right now. No, I think you, actually uh, even I even have some in the liquidity pool, so I'm providing some liquidity there. Nice, perfect. There's other things that you get with the premium, with like the collection sets and some premium filters, and mm -hmm. uh, and if you do bids, it's really good because you get the max multiplier, which means you can put bids all around, like you know, ten thousands of dollars of bids, even if you only have a thousand dollars and the moment your thousand dollars is gone, you're able to do it. So it's much more of a system like OpenSea than like oh, Hive Engine, okay. which you can only bid what exactly what you have. Exactly you know? what you have. Okay. Yeah. So it, it the do the bids just become uh inactive until you have until you Yeah, have well the... you'd have to like put money back in for the bids to be active again if once it runs out. Yeah. All right. All right. Sure. Did you uh to the subscription? I did. I thought I did. Um, did you? Let's give it a second. I just refreshed the page. Um, it took the PKM. So, so let's see. But it uh, is going a little okay. slow right now. I don't know if that's just okay. live. Uh, in the past, you had to log out and log back in. I thought oh. we had changed that. Let's Let's do that. Another reason for holding off on giving everyone access. Here we was go. just little tiny things that aren't really a huge problem. Oh, you Oops. hit the wrong one. Yeah, there we go. Profile. No, it's still saying none here. But it definitely did take the PKM. So let me check one thing. Yeah, shows it there. Is this because we're on beta? Oh yes, sorry. Okay, that, so yeah. should I let me log into the main, log into or use my go. main one then? I yep. was like, uh, oh, oh, found a bug. <laughs> no, no bugs here. Just user error. All right, sending you six hundred again. There you go. Yep. Uh, premium package enabled for this account. Thank you. 
Oh, oh it... sorry, you were cutting out there. Can you say that again? Oh, oh, it's already enabled. Oh, you just did it. Yeah, got it. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. It was it put it into the right place. Beta is not supposed to show premium. Perfect. Yeah, well, that's so funny because work. I you can sign I bought up it in beta, beta and it oh, works. Yeah, I was here. yeah, yeah, perfect. Now <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, this is perfect. Sweet. So you can uh, configure auto rental. Configure now, and you can turn it off at any point you want as well. Oh, you already gave access to it all, huh? Yeah, this works perfect. So, uh, the way that auto rental does it is it's just a pricing adjuster, so it adjusts your rentals that you've already set up, so it mm -hmm. just plays with whatever you have set to rent. Okay, so it won't touch like my, my it won't main touch your other stuff. Anything. Okay. No. That, and one of the features that we want to do is to create a, for you to be able to create a set and designate that set as like, look, I'm renting these, but don't touch these either. So an exclusionary set. Okay. Exclude set. Yeah. Gotcha. All so, right. So you could look at it almost like, oh, you could tell me what you think this, how it works, I guess. That's good. <laughs> sure. So you got conservative aggressive here. Uh, obviously, one will try to sell it quickly or rent it. Sorry, not rent, sell it, but rent it quickly versus renting it for more capital. Um, so that's just, that's user preference. Check every six hours. Um, what's, uh, this is probably just for the cars that are currently unrented. No. Nope. Oh, nope, nope. it's yeah. for the cars that are on rent. We check all 334 of your cards that are on the rental market every six hours. And if and they then are, the next section is the currently rented versus the not currently rented. Oh, okay. So so reprice cards if it's in a certain percentile that you can choose by X amount of percent. So yeah, it, we will only reprice the cards if, and this is the case, if it's gotcha. lower than the sixty six percentile. Ah, okay. We will we will reprice the cards if lower than the 66 percentile by 75 percent. So that means if the 66 percentile says that this should be 100 DEC and you are at 24 DEC, we'll reprice it to what? to 100 DEC. 200 DEC. But if it's at 26, you have a very large leniency at 75%. It's very okay. conservative. That means it's willing for the prices to ebb back and forth and whatever. Yeah. And yeah. only okay. when things go really low, will it finally say, okay, we're coming back in with a new price, you know? Mm -hmm. No, but I, I like this because you can, you can kind of get as surgical as you want and very specific on, yeah. uh, on, on the cards. So uh, let me explain, because I know not a lot of people learned percentiles in, in school, and it's a very different concept. And they think we're talking about percentages. It's Sure, yeah. Um, there is some correlation, but it's different. Mm -hmm. So if there was, we look at the actual market and say, in the last 24 hours, this card has been rented a thousand times. And we look at every price. And we say, and we find out like the 80, the 66 percentile means that out of a thousand cards, 660 of them were lower than this amount. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So you are, you are like number 339, you know, on the list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty decently high. You know, a lot of our users tend to use the 80th percentile. And as of yesterday, we if you hit the drop down, we enabled the ability to do 90th percentile as wow, well, okay. which means like in a thousand cards, there's only a hundred cards that are at your price or higher. Mm -hmm. It still means that there is like we're just using the data of what's the actuality. So of what's there, yeah. And this this goes per per BCX or per level? Per card per card. Per card. Per card at that level, yeah. At that level, okay, got it. Yeah, and we have a uh, compare 
pages on our site that show you the exact details. I don't know if people have looked at the active rental page, but it's like, here's how many cards are being rented at that specific level. Mm -hmm. And here's all of the different uh, percentiles. It's just for premium users to to kind of peruse, but um, it's it's a fun little thing. So we're using the actual detail of what's what's possible. So yeah, and then for the not <laughs> currently rented. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, not currently rented if it's not been rented in the last twenty four hours. Because there's just times where it's like, oh, it's just off the market for like ten minutes. Not a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Just keep the same price. Yeah, but if it hasn't been rented for twenty four hours or forty eight hours then maybe consider let's move it down a notch to like the 50th percentile yeah. or something. Well, you can get even more aggressive and check every 12, which I like. Yeah. Uh, each yeah. of these will, will take resource credits though, right? No. Oh, it won't. Okay. You do not have to give us your account. Mm -hmm. You do not have to delegate us hive authority. Uh, what you have to do is do a splinterlands type of authority uh, that gives us the ability to list your cards uh, when, for rent. When it's people a sign rental up, listing delegation. Okay. It's not a posting key or anything like that? Not a posting key. It's not a hive posting authority. It's a very limited, very mm, like all okay. we can do is rent out your card. We gotcha. Take your card, take your money or anything. We just we can just set a price for you. Choose to rent um, it or not. And uh and we yeah. So and we're paying the RC because the blockchain transaction is from us. So mm -hmm. therefore we're playing the box the, the resource credit on the blockchain. That is that is good to know. Yeah. So and we aren't taking any percentage of the rental uh the way that this is going to be done is by repricings number of repricings how, how does can, can you explain that a little bit more then so once you start going on this it'll tell you how many times we've done blockchain transactions and how many cards have been repriced mm, okay so if you're being aggressive there's going to be more repricings if you're checking more often, there's going to be more repricings. If you have a very tight leniency as opposed to 75%, which is a huge leniency, mm -hmm. that won't require too many repricings. Interesting. Okay. So it, it's kind of like the system, now, or at least the previous system that you had where you guys weren't, you know, um, or at least people people would just set their, set their uh, rentals to a certain price and then kind of forget about it. There wouldn't be any like yeah. changing there. So therefore there wouldn't be much work on your end or require anything. Mm -hmm. So also another thing is we are giving everyone X amount of repricings. Oh, okay. So it is essentially free to a point. And then uh, I'd say those that have very little you know, in, and you'll be able to buy some extra repricings I'd say personally, I think the math adds up that if you are probably renting out maybe a uh, thousand DEC worth of of cards, then probably it'll make economic sense to get the premium okay. because okay. the premium will give you like twenty five thousand repricings a month, every month. Okay, and with, without the premium, how much do you get? A thousand. I thought, I thought. Oh, so not a thousand DEC. You're saying if you if you're gonna if you're expecting a thousand repricings. Is oh, there... I see how you're coming about it. Yeah. So um, I, I yeah, just misunderstood. I mean, if you're doing twenty five thousand repricings. That's another way of putting it. That's probably an easier way. Thank you. Like if you're gonna do twenty five thousand repricings, uh, then you probably want to do uh, the, the premium. premium. But okay. also you could just buy like a hundred thousand repricings and have it work for months on end, you know? And how, how much, how much does that go for? Uh, it's like about the same. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So 25,000 for the, it is about the same, but if you get premium, you get 25,000 and all the other features of premium. All the other features, which, which I do want to get into for folks that may not be familiar with it. Um, last question about this. Is there, is there a way to track like where my, 
where my repricings are over time um, so that you can you can see it. maybe this maybe this is a feature request so that you can see like at a certain point it makes more sense to get premium you know what i mean oh i see how many premiums you've used that month how many repricings you've used yeah so it's just like okay well you know i it, it should be hopefully something that will incentivize people to get premium if they start seeing that they're either above or getting close to that that kind of threshold there where it would say oh, it would make sense why don't you check out premium then you don't have to worry about it plus you get all these other features and benefits yeah it, it will track and says how many you've used that month but we don't have one that tells you how much you've used previous months oh and okay. that would so you, be okay. a feature request that you could just go onto our discord and say i'd really love to be able to see how many i used the previous month or something like that so Okay, cool. Is and is this gonna I've, be I've asked for, but you know, you ask. It'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Is this is this by calendar month then? Or is it like when you uh, yes, calendar month. month. Calendar month. Uh, okay. Yes, so, calendar month. so it just resets every calendar month. Okay, that makes it easy. Yeah. Yep. It, it's too complicated to track otherwise. So and where where would somebody see where their repricings are if they wanted to check that? Uh you'd have to hit the configure now. Oops. And then it will show up. Oh, how many how many repricings we've done already? Yeah. It'll check in six hours from now. It'll figure it out. Or you can hit one hour and then come back in later and change it to three hours. Oh, gotcha. Whatever. Okay. So, okay. All right. I'll play around with this then. But in that same place that says configure, it'll start showing you how many of the of the monthly that you are gifted. From mm -hmm. premium, and then it will show you how many beyond that you've gone. So, got it. Okay. Cool. In early access, we've given people like a hundred thousand extras. Yeah. Big right. accounts, big accounts. Like I use over a hundred thousand repricings a month. Sure. So Easily, once because I got once... twenty thousand cards rented. So nice. <laughs> True definition of card lord. I need to catch up. Um, what once somebody does cross that threshold. Uh, how do you charge for this? Is is there some kind of automatic charge on your end? I uh, know you just have to buy extra repricings. Just hold. Them oh, okay, so hold. it just cuts off, and then it'll it'll it just it'll stop repricing them. They're still rented. Yeah, yeah. nothing nothing really stops. We're just we aren't. And and, and I want to make this part clear. You can go into your if you use this, you can still go into your collection and reprice them yourself. No gotcha. issue. Because you're usually going to reprice them higher. Mm -hmm. Now, if you replace, if for some reason you wanted to reprice them lower and the system was still running, we'd probably go, oh, that's really too low. And we'll reprice it for you and you'd be battling. Now, if you wanted to reprice them higher yourself, that's fine. And you'll save and you won't be using any of the repricings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it just is like this nice steady foundation where you can still, if you love doing, playing around with it, you can still do it yourselves and, you know, yeah. and maybe it's just filling in the holes and you've got like, are you going and buy like 10,000 repricings or 25,000 repricings? And it just, you know, it's just covering for the, you know, where you missed off, left off. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, this is, this is really cool because, you know, there's, there's obviously a, a built in amount that people can go in and just test around or play around with it, even if they don't have premium. Um, you know, I, nobody likes fees at the end of the day. So it's, it's mm -hmm. kind of nice that you can take advantage of this, be as active or, you know, not active as you want to be, um, and still get the benefit of it. So it doesn't even look like if there's like, there's no on off button here. So is this automatically running then? And I can just make it as conservative or aggressive as I want. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. That's cool. But I, I, there should be a way to turn it off once you start it. So there's once you once you start it, there'll be an oh, off oh, option. Got it. Okay, once I confirm. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, I'm I'm excited to play around with this because you know there's there's obviously some other like auto rental uh, services out there, but a lot of the time you have to do two things: create like a completely separate rental account, and then it also requires a lot of resource credit. So I feel like you guys are attacking two major pain points there, which is nice. Here's another big thing. Peak Monsters doesn't make anything off of this, so those fees do not go to all right, these. Those fees do not go to us. 
the the fees for the um for premium for premium or for the repricings yeah we don't where do they where do they go they go to the reward pool or the liquidity pool liquidity pool for people who are providing liquidity so another liquidity yeah, another pool rewards yeah yeah so. another reason to provide some liquidity cool yeah, uh, we're not we're not making obviously we want pkm to be you know valuable so that people mm -hmm. want to use the marketplace and all that stuff and the mm -hmm. and the new non-card market and buy stuff and they earn pkm uh the economics behind it just not you know financial advice you know but is that uh look presently because it's very pegged to sps pkm price has gone down with its it goes down with sps with sps like and uh it's six about 600 to get premium right now if you had a thousand people uh using premium or buying twenty five thousand repricings a month just one thousand that's six hundred thousand uh pkm being uh you know co coming off of you know being bought or coming out of people's pockets every every month six hundred thousand we in our airdrops give out less than three hundred thousand a month Gotcha. Okay. And then wh where does that, where would that, you know, hypothetical 600,000 PKM go? Does that, that go into some kind of the reward pool that liquidity pays pool. out? Oh, the liquidity so pool rewards. Yeah. It goes okay. So it's not going into the liquidity pool itself. It's just, it's in a holding. It's going into wall. a rewards. Yeah. So right now on our, if you actually if you click out of this, there's a nice page that d demonstrates this. Is if this you go the, to yeah, that just, SBS DEC reward. Yeah, well, I, I love this page also, just FYI. That's nice to see everything in one place. Oh, no, it's not showing up. Oh, error in rewards pools? Let's refresh. Uh, Hive Engine's having a, yeah. have an issue. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. It's Hive Engine's having an issue. But it's at an 80, 82% is the APR for those that provide SPS, PKM, PKM into the pool. Yeah. But then that that pool, like last last period, it's a 120 day period. Last period was like 50 percent, and because of all the rewards and everything that were going back into the pool, now it's 80 percent. And so then, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully that trend, per, you know, continues to to go up next yeah, time. Yeah. So uh, sorry, what I was asking earlier, it's just in a holding wallet that pays out the rewards every every month. Yeah. And yeah. So. Do those rewards change based on how much is in the holding wallet, or is it just X amount of PKM no matter how much is there? No, it 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 we are uh it's it's coming from the people that are buying PK or premium and stuff like that and repricings mm -hmm. is going in there, but it's also we are profit sharing peak sponsors is gotcha. Oh no, no, so I, I know so what we are we have earned and putting some into that reward pool for you. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. No, 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 I I understand that. Hold up, uh, I guess I guess I need to log in here. What I was trying to understand, and this is this is maybe outside the. Oh, there we go. Logged in. What I was trying to understand is if this number changes at all. And sorry, I don't know if it's internet or if it's just maybe high things low. Maybe this is the issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there might be something going on with Hive. Um, so like if I were to pull up the PKM pool and click on it, it would show those rewards there, um, you know, paid out and the subsequent tokens. I'm just wondering if like the amount of PKM ever changes based on how much is in the pool or if it's always just that amount and then the pool will have like more or less. At the beginning of a 120 day period, we have put in, in this last one, we put in 800,000 PKM and we put in a bunch of DEC, a couple million. Mm-hmm. We put in a lot of SPS, about the same amount of value as the PKM. Um, we put in vouchers and just kind of all the things that were in that account that we had earned. Okay. Uh, went into that pool and all it. So it's like a mix of things that you would get. Yeah. Hive engine right. is yeah, it not like happy. Hive's, Hive, something's gone with Hive. All right. Um, well, we'll Hive come engine. Back here. Or Hive, Hive engine. engine. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Hive really doesn't have any problems. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the blockchain. The it's, nodes it's operators enough. sometimes do, but yeah. 
All right. Well, that was um, anything else that you wanted to share from here? I don't know if you wanted to go into the I want to make sure that we cover all the other benefits for uh, people with a subscription. Um, uh, you know, th there's filters, there's other things. I'm just kind of focusing a little bit on the on the newest stuff. Uh, oh, oh, there is a big thing. Uh, previously, when we gave out PKM, it's based on your level and we do that every Wednesday. But then there's other thing. If you were to purchase ten dollars, then you would get uh, ten dollars worth. You would get, a, you know, and, and it scales upward, of course, as well. Mm -hmm. and then you get a payment, you know, and previously was based on a single hive transaction. So you would have to, like, you know, get oh, a ton into a hive ten dollars yeah. or more. OK, like one hundred dollars would be X amount. And this would, you know, it'd be more and more. But it was based on every hive transaction. Uh, at, as of a few weeks ago, we allowed people to buy, well, maybe, yeah, it was a few weeks, like up to 1500 cards at a time, but that requires 10 hive transactions. So we're like, ah, dang it. We got to like switch it up and with the non-card market and all that stuff. So now we look at a 30 minute window and even works for bids, right? People were buying like, you know, a little $1 bid here, $1 bid there, yeah. but they would like, especially end of a season, just hit hard. But just tons of transactions, um, and now we look at a thirty-minute window, and we'll give a an airdrop. So maybe the the total amount of airdrop going out is going to be a little bit higher now because because of this. It will, will be higher for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how much higher. It was at like two hundred fifty thousand a month, and maybe it'll go up to like three hundred fifty thousand a month. But like I said, the math of like a thousand premium users means there's six hundred thousand PKM going out and only 350 coming in so there's a net you know kind of like well there'll be a, there'll be a supply it, it could there. end up getting yeah. to a to a point it could be somewhat deflationary or really going heavily towards uh the the reward pool and at some point yeah. we may just say like let's just start burning it we got more than enough in the reward pool <laughs> <laughs> so fair enough um all right cool so where where can people see all the benefits of the subscription again just in case when you hit the little up button next to premium oh okay here we go so and this page will be changing that's why we haven't uh released it right now it's just early access well premium is fine but the non uh, the the auto rental pricing adjuster is just for those that have premium right now but these are the list of some of the of the features of the other things that you can get in there so when when will is that is that live now or is it going to go live for everybody at, at a certain point the premium has been system. live yeah okay uh the pricing adjuster yeah is pricing adjuster. going to go live for everyone once we change the whole premium screen that you're looking at and allow people to do multiple months and uh, there's a couple of things on the other. I mean, we've got a lot of people using it right now already. Mm -hmm. Like 10% uh, okay. of the marketplace, even though it's just In early petition access. only early access. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I, well, I, I think it's great. So I just I just want to make sure we give folks, uh, again, tentative time frame for when they can expect it, um, whether they, they have a subscription or not. Yeah, and I, I, I would have hoped a week ago. But, yeah. <laughs> so it's something that's coming soon. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully for anybody, anybody watching this, uh, you know, today or the near future, the, you but can, also you I'm not wait too long. I'm not in a terrible hurry because it is still totally viable and usable right now, mm -hmm. and people just have to ask. So it's not like we're in a huge time crunch or anything. So fair enough. Fair enough. Well, let's. Um, what, why don't we close out with that then? Where okay. Where's the best place for people to reach out? And I know Discord is is probably the top spot. And I'm going to make sure that we put a link to the Peak Monsters Discord in the yeah. show notes for this. Is there anywhere else? Uh, do you want to give like a, another another um, area, whether it's for you or the community? That's it. I know our Twitter is pretty, uh, pretty active. We've got our uh, Peak D... Uh, uh, page peak dash monsters, but uh, our Discord's really good. And just I just want people to keep in mind, it's it works on two projects there: peakd.com and peakmonsters.com. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So please go to the right section. If you if you like are asking a peak monsters question in a peak D channel, it's just gonna get deleted. It's gonna it's gonna get okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, this was uh this was awesome. I'm actually really excited about this. As somebody who has like a main account with some extra cards that I do just rent out, it will be nice to not have to micromanage them or mm -hmm. or send them to another account. Uh, keep them all there. A lot of it is. A lot of it is like deck building for me, right? Like, for example, if I have, you know, nine out of the 10 cards that I need to level up to the next one until I get that 10th card, I like to just rent it out, earn a little extra. And so, again, not having to micromanage or just put them at the bottom baseline price to make sure that they get moved, uh, I think is going to be fantastic. Plus, who doesn't like no fees? Who doesn't like resource credits not being, you know, <laughs> just yeah. absolutely abused? But uh, I, I really, I really like, I really like the approach, and I'm, uh, I'm excited to to give it a try and for everybody else to get access to it in the future. Thank you. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I will make sure we get all the links. We'll get Twitter. We'll get Discord, and we'll get uh, anything else that you want to send me, Jarvi. Uh, and we'll put that into the show notes down below. So make sure you check that out and reach out to Jarvi. He's generally active in uh, in mm -hmm. the main Splinterlands Discord, but uh, I'm sure you're active all over the place too in your Discord too. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right, guys. All take right. care.